Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. And today in the Bible Bistro, we're looking at verses 8 and 9 here in the second or the third section. Uh, this begins the third section, verses 8 and 9. And you'll notice that we're going to talk today about the works of the Lord, but we're going to talk about specific works. Now remember, He is our refuge, strength, and very present help in trouble. And the trouble, it looks like He's the one causing it amongst the people of the world. The kings and the heathen, all of those folk, they're having trouble. But the church, nope. Israel, nope. Why? Because there is a river. The streams whereof shall make glad the city of God. You see, we have a peace because God is in the midst. We have a helper, and he helps, as it says there in verse 5, right early. Yeah. And the heathen raged, that was verse 6, and the kingdoms were moved, and we look back at Psalm 2. Psalm 2 gave us a little more information about all that. Now we come today, and we have an invitation issued. Come, behold the works of the Lord, what desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. All right, that's verses 8 and 9. And you'll notice we have this invitation to come and to see. Come, behold the works of the Lord. Now, a lot of times when you hear the psalmist or really any, any of the prophets say, Come behold the works of the Lord. We're going to talk about, usually, we're going to talk about the works of creation. What God did as he established creation. Or we might talk about his wonderful works in the deliverance from Egypt. And how he, by a mighty arm, brought the people out of Egypt. Well, here the works of the Lord are something a little bit different. They're desolations. Notice that word. What desolations he hath made in the earth. Now, what are these desolations? Now, he, he gives us a list right here in verse 9. Just like we had a list in verse 2 and 3. Remember that list? Though the earth, though the mountains, though the waters. Well, here we have another list. These are his desolations in verse 9. He makes wars to cease. Doesn't sound too bad to me. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in sunder. No? Okay. He burns the chariot in the fire. Now, those are desolations, but... They're not my desolations, right? I, I'm, I'd be perfectly fine with war ceasing and the bow breaking and the spear being cut into pieces and the chariots burned in the fire. That'd be all right with me. What, who's a, a desolation for? Well, it's a desolation for the kings, for the nations, for the heathen. It's their desolation. You see, they're all upset. The earth is removed and the wa- mountain and the waters and the blah, blah, blah. It's all a trouble and it's all trouble all the time. We're not in trouble, and we don't fear, because these desolations he's inflicting upon them. For us, there's peace, because the Lord is our refuge. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Remember that this psalm began with those factual statements about God. God is our refuge, our strength, a very present help in trouble. The trouble is being experienced mainly by those in the world, the heathen that don't believe in God, who are away from him, who are worshiping idols, they're making the wars, they're stringing the bows, they're sharpening the spears, they're making sure that their chariots are all polished up. No, but God is going to make a desolation of all of that. He's going to be, He's going to bring, bring peace even to the peoples who don't want peace. Now, tomorrow we're going to look at verses 10 and 11. We'll finish out here in Psalm 46, here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.